In a mathematical competition, six problems were posed to the contestants. Each pair of these problems was solved by more than two-fifths of the contestants. Nobody solved all the six problems. Show that there are at least two contestants who each solved exactly five problems. This is problem six from the 2005 International Mathematical Olympiad. There are six sets of problems in the competition, with problem six being the most challenging of them all with only 11% of the contestants solving it fully to earn seven points. As usual, the key to solving the problem lies in understanding the question and translating it into mathematical terms. Let's start by simplifying the problem statement. There are six problems in total, and each pair of problems was solved by more than two-fifths of the contestants. We need to analyze this statement carefully. From six problems, we can choose two problems to make a pair, resulting in six choose two or 15 possible pairs. The statement tells us that each of these 15 pairs was solved by more than two-fifths of the contestants. Let's consider what happens if there are five contestants and each pair is solved by exactly two-fifths of them. Two-fifths of five is two, so each pair would be solved by exactly two contestants. This logic holds as long as the number of contestants is a multiple of five. If there is one extra contestant, making it five in plus one contestants, the two-fifths rule would mean we need 0.4 more contestants per pair. Since the number of contestants must be an integer, each pair must be solved by one additional contestant. Using similar reasoning, we can deduce that if there are two extra contestants, each pair is solved by one extra contestant. With three extra contestants, each pair is solved by two extra contestants. And with four extra contestants, each pair is solved by two extra contestants as well. Now let's consider how many pairs of problems a contestant would solve, depending on how many problems they solved. If a contestant solved two problems, they solved exactly one pair out of the 15 possible pairs. If a contestant solved three problems, they solved three pairs. If a contestant solved four problems, they solved six pairs. If a contestant solved five problems, they solved 10 pairs. This fact is crucial because the number of pairs solved by the contestants must correspond to triangular numbers, one, three, six, 10. We do not consider 15 pairs since nobody solved all six problems. Now let's think about a table representing the pairs. The rows and columns represent problem numbers, and each cell represents a possible combination of problems. With six problems, there are 15 possible combinations where the order doesn't matter, so overlapping cells are left out. If every contestant solved only two problems, which means one contestant per pair, there would need to be at least 15 contestants to fill all 15 cells. This scenario implies that only one out of 15 contestants solved each pair, which is far below the required two-fifths. If each contestant solved three problems, then each contestant solved three pairs. Given 15 pairs, this means each contestant solved one-fifth of all possible pairs, which is still below two-fifths. If each contestant solved four problems, then each contestant solved six pairs, exactly two-fifths of the total number of pairs. Thus, theoretically, if the number of contestants is a multiple of five, each pair could be solved by two-fifths of the contestants in the best-case scenario. However, the problem states that each pair is solved by more than two-fifths of the contestants, not exactly two-fifths. Let's consider a case with an extra contestant. In this situation, each pair would need to be solved by two n plus one contestants. To meet this number, one contestant would have to solve all problems, which is impossible. Now let's evaluate all possible outcomes, considering combinatorial possibilities to check if it is possible to meet the condition if only one contestant solved five problems. When counting the number of pairs each contestant solved, a contestant solving four problems contributes six pairs. A contestant solving five problems contributes ten pairs. We will prove that there is no solution if only one contestant solved five problems in any scenario. With three extra contestants, if only one solved five problems and the others solved four, 
they would contribute 22 pairs. However, to exceed two-fifths, 30 pairs are required, so there is not a solution. Similarly, with four extra contestants, if only one solved five problems, the maximum number of pairs solved is 28, which is again insufficient to contribute 30 pairs. Now consider the case with 5n plus 2 contestants, where one solved 5 problems and the other solved 4. Initially, it might seem possible since the two extra contestants contribute 16 pairs, enough to get all 15 pairs. However, upon closer analysis, it becomes clear this is not possible. If one contestant solves problems 1 to 5 and misses problem 6, he contributes these 10 pairs. To satisfy the problem condition, another contestant must contribute the remaining five pairs. Regardless of which combination of problems this contestant solved, they can contribute only three of the remaining squares. Let's say the second contestant solves problems three to six, missing one and two. He contributes these pairs as well as three, four, three, five, and four, five. They still need to cover the remaining two pairs, but it's impossible to move two of these squares to fill all gaps. Since every contestant solves at least four problems, we can't just move individual squares. We have to consider pairs and groups. Therefore, if we try to substitute a contestant who solved problems two to five, the resulting table shows that it is impossible to fill all pairs with another contestant solving only four problems. Since this is a combinatorics problem, the conclusions are the same regardless of which specific combination of problems we consider. Thus, we can conclude that it is impossible to meet the condition with only one contestant solving five problems. Therefore, there must be at least two contestants who solve five problems to ensure that each pair of problems is solved by more than two-fifths of the contestants.